Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my Shiseido box that Influencer just sent me. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. The packaging is really nice. I love all the red, definitely Shiseido vibes. I also love the packaging. It's very like Valentine's Day-esque and Valentine's Day is coming up in about two weeks. So a really nice gift to get sent from them. This is their new Ultimune Power Infusion using concentrate. This is a pretty big bottle. This is what it looks like. So I went ahead, I actually just looked this up online. This one retails for $110. So expensive. And the actual packaging is 1.6 ounces. So it looks a lot larger than you would think it is. It's probably just because of the glass. It might just be a little bit thick, but I think this packaging is so nice. It's very, very luxurious and I love the topper to it. It says, introducing Shiseido's most potent serum yet for stronger, healthier, vibrant skin. Boost radiance in three days. Deliver two times skin defense with immune generation red technology. After four weeks, skin feels firm and resilient, visibly reduces signs of aging, and amplifies hydration. It features new fermented roselle extract, which increases water retention and protects skin resilience, and new heart leaf extract, which detoxifies, soothes, and strengthens the skin's protective barrier. The thing about this, guys, it does say in a little asterisk down below, Yes, it has all these great claims, but it says it was based on a questionnaire that 104 women took. It was based on the improvement of moisture retention rate and trans epidermal water loss. And it does say down below test site. I guess it uses the demographic. It says France subjects, 95 female after four weeks use. It doesn't specify if that was the entire amount of people that use it that were French. And it does say 95 female, but it does list 104 women. So that is a little bit confusing that it doesn't specify exacts on what that last um, part is. But anyways, I am going to go ahead and test this out with you guys. Obviously, I will have to maybe do an update after long-term use because I'm just doing like a little trial with you guys today and first impressions. It does come with a little sticker on the side to make sure it wasn't tampered with. However, you can always just lay it back down and it looks like new. This is what the pump looks like. Let's go ahead and try some. You do have to pump it a few times to get the air out, but you don't have to overly pump like some other products. It feels like it's absorbing pretty quickly into my skin. The serum is also very light. It feels very water-like on your skin, meaning that it's not a very thick serum and it's gonna absorb pretty quickly. Okay, so I, I do like this. My skin definitely feels hydrated. It's not like tacky and sticky like some serums, like comparing it to a lot of vitamin C serums. There's some really good vitamin C serums, but a lot of them are very tacky after you apply them. I'm not getting that. It just, it feels nice and hydrated and it's almost fully absorbed. So that was pretty quick. Today's video shout out word is power. If you comment power down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. So first impressions, I do like it, but let's go ahead next and look at the ingredients. I have to be completely honest with you guys. This is a very expensive serum. It was sent to me, which I highly, highly appreciate from the brand Shiseido and Influencer, but I am going to be real with you guys. One thing I don't like about this product ingredient wise is they're just, there's a lot of like smush of ingredients for the first half of ingredients. There's a lot of alcohol, dimethicone, propylene glycol, PEG, PPG. There's a lot of like not the greatest ingredients for a high-end super expensive serum. Once you get about halfway, three quarters of the way down in the ingredients, I am seeing a lot of really good ingredients in here of extracts from plants and things that can actually benefit your skin. But I'm not a huge fan of all the alcohol at the beginning that can dry out your skin. And you are paying a lot of money for this if you purchase it. So you wanna make sure you know it's good ingredients for your skin and it's actually gonna help with anti-aging instead of promoting aging. So I am gonna have to stick with this and try it a little bit more and get back to you guys on how I like this serum. 
First impressions, I think it's really nice. I love the packaging. The serum feels really nice on the skin. Now when I touch my skin, I can't even feel anything. It's fully absorbed. Ingredient wise, I'm on the fence. There's good ingredients in here, but they are halfway, three quarters of the way down the list. It is a pretty long list of ingredients. So I'll have to try it out a lot longer. Shiseido is a really cool brand. I love their packaging. I think they're very innovative. I'm gonna try to use this for longer and maybe just do a long term use of video follow up in a month or two or three. Have any of you guys tried this product? It does say it is new and I'm super excited to try it some more. But if you guys have got your hands on this product already, let me know what you think of it and let me know your thoughts if you guys have used it long term. Today's video shout out goes out to Kimberly Devadi. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you guys want a shout out in my videos, make sure to watch the entire video and look out for the shout out word. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.